Hey, hey! <laughs> so, I'm back. I'm here in YouTube. Finally. You've probably been waiting a while because, you know, I've not been active here. But I've actually been very active on Instagram and TikTok. Um, but, you know, I thought, why not just be active here too? You know, I want to serve you guys with the best material ever in Norwegian. Therefore, I want to really be more active here on YouTube. So, here I am. Today, we're going to cover the pronunciation in Norwegian today's topic. So I actually just thought we'd just go through the alphabet together. So let's have a look. A, A, B, B, C, C, D, D, E, E, F, F, G, G, H, H, I, I, J, J, could also just say yeah, yeah. K, K, L, L, M, M. N, N, O, O, P, P, Q, Q, R, R, S, S, T, T, U, U, V. V, W, W, X, X, Y, Y, Z, Z, A, A, Ö, Ö, O, O. Yes, and now I actually want to cover some very difficult pronunciation parts in Norwegian that most students struggle with. So, the first topic here is this sound right here. Ah. Ah. For example, et var. Et var. A weather. Klar. Klar. Close. Här. Här. Army. You could also just say en här. Because it's masculine. Next one is ö. Ö. So, let's do this one here. Å höre. Å höre. Sör, sör, lök, lök. Onion. Then we have å, å. Let's have a look at some examples. So first one is ett år, ett år. Then we have vår. Vår. Or en vår. Hår. Hår. Or ett hår. Another part that is difficult is o. O. So let's have a look at that. It's the thing here with o is that it can either be o or å, depending on what word you're saying. Uh, one example is ost. Ost, cheese. Then we have å koste, å koste, which means to use a broom and like, you know, a brooming. I don't know exactly what that is in English. I always forget. Å <laughs> uh, 
kosta. Then we have another one which is å kosta. Å kosta. This means to cost. So, en banan kostar fem kronor. En banan kostar fem kronor. Here we say kostar and not kostar. Another one is frukost. Frukost. This is breakfast. And here you say fru kost. And you don't say frukost. You don't say frakost. Fru kost. Okay. And we don't have rules for this. So depending on what word, you just have to re remember the word with an O in it and by itself. And yeah, I know it's it's a little bit annoying. And you will probably have issues with this, but um, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, let's have a look at some other examples. So the difficult one it also is yeah, yeah. Um, not necessarily too hard, but you know, uh, it's good to know. Um, jeg, jeg, me, jeg, jeg. That's how you say that. Or ja. Ja. Okay. Yes. It's not too hard. Well, you know, I went through quite a bit of the alphabet, and um, if you have some issues with another vowel in this alphabet or consonant, I'd love to make a video about that. But this covers today's topic, uh, pronunciation. Hopefully this video was very useful for you. I'll try to make uh, weekly videos like this. So that you can, you know, follow me weekly. Um, yeah, a new topic every time. So, yes. So, tschüss and talk for now. Thank you so much, and I see you again soon. It's not it's not. Remember to follow me on Instagram and TikTok, and you know, the, also Facebook. I'm there, so I'm here too. So, tschüss and talk. Thank you so much for waiting for me here, and I'm so happy to be back here. And it's not I see you soon.